Warning, use professional supervision when creating equipment. This project has been rated normal. Hi buff dudes, hi buff girls, do it yourself Duke here. In the last episode, we finished this power rack. I love this thing, I can't wait to use it on a consistent basis. But now, we need a bench so we can bench press one of these things. Let's build it. And just in case you didn't know we built a power rack or you'd like to watch the video, check the link to the power rack video. I think you'll enjoy it. But right now, let's get to the bench. Look on the ground there. Does that look like a bench? No, it looks like a bunch of lumber. In fact, a bunch, in this case, a bunch of old lumber. But we're gonna build a bench for under $50, even if you buy this stuff new. The reason it looks like that is because we had some leftover materials from our power rack build, as well as some stuff we scavenged from around. And we love to scavenge stuff. Remember Thor's hammer? Found some steel, built Thor's hammer. Well, we're gonna take this and build a bench. I've already cut the pieces out. These are four by fours, and we have four four by fours cut at 12 inches in length four at 12 inches. Then we have this one cut at 37 inches in length. We have a piece of plywood, three quarter inches thick by 12 inches wide by 50 inches long. Then we got ourselves some Simpson strong ties. These are like a buck, buck 20 a piece. We're gonna bend them at a 90. We're gonna join all this stuff together. These are super good to use, super easy. And all you do is use these holes for screws. That's gonna bring it all together. Let's build this thing. We have all our pieces here on the benches. This is actually where the upholstery is gonna go. So that's the top of the bench. We're gonna turn that upside down. We're gonna take our main beam here. And we're gonna center that on the bench which is gonna be six inches there. It's a little over six inches, six and a quarter. Then we're gonna center it on the bench, which is four and a half, four and a half, four and a half. So it's four and a half to the outside of the plywood. And then it's six and a quarter from the end, six and three eighths actually. So we've got that centered where we need it. Then we're gonna add the uprights here, which is gonna be at the ends of the main support beam. And at this point, we're gonna take our brackets and attach this together. Here's the real test to see if you're a buff dude or a buff girl. We're gonna take our Simpson strong ties and we're gonna bend them in half. These are seven inches long, so the center is gonna be three and a half inches. We'll just mark it so we get a general idea. It's really not a rocket science thing. Three and a half, that's basically these center holes. Now we're gonna bend that into a 90 degree angle. So we're gonna take that, and we're gonna go, no, seriously, they're not that hard to bend. Look at that, nice. Go ahead and make them a 90. That's pretty close. Then we're gonna put them here. Then we're gonna screw them down. So to attach these Simpson strong ties, we're gonna be using a two inch wood screw. Look how many holes there is. We don't have to do all those holes. We're gonna do one here, 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 one here. That's gonna be plenty to hold that thing to this support. Make sure you square it up and then hold that and kind of ease it on in there until it starts to bite. Watch that thumb. Boom. Now we'll start adding the rest of the screws and really make that strong. We do not, I repeat, we do not want the bench to be doing this on us when we're benching. Um, personally, you know, 405. 600, whatever. You know, you want to be safe always, so we're going to make this safe. Okay, we're going to put a couple more in there, but now we're going to go to the other side and link this with that. These are used 
multiple times in construction, in framing, wood framing. That's why they make them because they really strengthen joints and they're easy to use. A little bit of steel, a lot of wood, you got a really, really strong item. Lots of screws, hold that baby. Like I say, you don't have to put screws in everything. It's gonna hold it good. Now we're gonna turn it over and go ahead and put a strong tie right there. And that's gonna link it together. You wanna make sure that's a tight joint there. And do it yourself Duke's philosophy on life. Well, get busy lifting or get busy dying. Okay, that's done. So basically, this is gonna go like this. Okay, that was pretty strong. Boom, right there. Screws, screws. Another one, screws, screws. Another one, screws, screws. Another one, screws, screws. Once we get all these brackets on, we're gonna go ahead and center it and position it on the bench top. And remember we were six, actually now we're, it was six inches before we put these on, so now we're three inches from the end. Still four and a half inches from the side. Go around and, and check all that out. Be double sure, right there, centered, centered on there three inches from the back. Okay, now we're gonna use 20 of these little things, three quarter inch wood screws. Three quarter inch is gonna hit that metal and it's not gonna go all the way through this three quarter inch plywood. <laughs> this part's done. We're gonna flip this over since it's all attached now. We're gonna put it on this board. That's just a scrap piece of board. It's just to span our saw horses. Then we're gonna take our other 12 inch piece and put it underneath. Now we're gonna center these. Right to the edge, flush. We're gonna have four inches there gonna be about four and a quarter. We're gonna go ahead and put that there. Pitch it here and here on both sides, both ends. Okay, got all those tied in. Looking good. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach really attach the top to all these members here. And that's gonna strengthen everything. It's like a house. You have it all framed up and it's not quite strong. But once you attach the outside siding, the roof and the sheeting and the sheetrock inside, it's like skin on a body. And that's kind of what this top's gonna to be when we're all through. Okay, got the Top screwed down. Now it's time for the buff dude stress test before we paint. See how heavy it is. It's not that heavy. I'd say about 30 pounds. Whoops, I dropped it. Pretty nice. You know how benches get kicked around in the gym. Get, uh, stupid benches. <clears throat> but the real test comes from <laughs> 405. So we went ahead and knocked around a little bit and we're seeing, well, there's not really much there, but so we're just gonna simply take one of our two inch screws, put it through that hole and toe nail it in. See how it kind of just moved it down? What it's doing is just squaring it up and making it a super tight joint. 
but safety is always first. So we always overdo things just so it's safe. We're gonna go ahead and paint this a flat black. It's paint left over from our power rack. Obviously paint's gonna be an extra expense. It's gonna up the, the $50 into the 60 to 65. You can get spray paint though and spray it for probably eight, 10 bucks. Again, that's gonna up it. If you use new wood, it's gonna look all nice. You may not even wanna paint it. We're gonna paint it just cause we have the paint. So we're gonna put this on our bench. This came from a thrift store. It was a full mattress, like a single mattress. It's actually memory foam. We're gonna cover that with black vinyl. So for a couple bucks, we got this, this mattress, this big mattress, and then I just cut it out, which I cut it to cover a bench, which is, I cut it a little past the 12 inches mark, so when the vinyl goes, It'll kind of wrap like that. So I cut it at 13 and a half by a little longer than our bench, which would be 54 inches long. So while that bench is drying, we painted it black. We're gonna cut the vinyl out to cover this now. Here's our vinyl that we're gonna cover the bench with. It's just a nice black. There's different grades of vinyl. This is kind of a marine vinyl, really strong. You can get this in various grades and various prices. The best way to do it is go to a store like Joann's Fabrics or an upholstery store and look for scraps. Sometimes they have scraps for like three bucks a yard. We're gonna be using less than two yards, so we're looking at like six bucks. This one happens to be 72 inches long by, uh, I'm pretty sure, 57 inches wide. We're gonna be using 24 inches by 60 inches, basically two feet by five feet. We're gonna have quite a bit left over because we're gonna be doing some more DIY videos on the exercise equipment because we wanna fill this gym with the latest, greatest buff dudes equipment. So let's go ahead and cut this. It's really simple. The first thing we're gonna do is make some nice square lines from the factory or where they cut it, we already have a square edge here. We're gonna measure over 24 inches. That's the width of our bench. And we're gonna give it enough to go around the bench, tuck underneath so we can attach it on the bottom. So we're gonna measure over 24 using a Sharpie here. And we're gonna go all the way to the end Put another 24 right there. We're gonna have to put a 24 in the middle because our straight edge is not long enough to go from one end to the other. So we'll go over here. And then we're gonna take some scissors and cut, cut, cut. Again, if it's not perfectly straight, not gonna matter. You're not gonna see this once it's stapled, we're actually gonna staple it to the, remember our base of our bench is plywood, so staples are gonna work really well. Okay, there we go, there's our piece. Nice black vinyl. It's gonna look really good with that power rack. There's our foam, we're gonna put that down. So let's square this up on the vinyl. We got five inches there. Move it down a little. This memory foam was kind of, I cut it with a, a utility knife, a razor knife. We got our bench. It's all painted. Matches the power rack. We're gonna go ahead and place it on the foam. Now you can see I cut this foam just like a half inch wider than it needs to because once this wraps, we want a nice tight with a little bit of cushion on the edges. That's gonna make it look good, I think. I think it looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and get our staple gun, which is another tool you're gonna need. But you don't have to have a staple gun. You can use small upholstery tacks. Just make sure those tacks don't go through this three quarter inch plywood. You don't want it to stab you in the back. Have our vinyl, have our foam, have our bench. 
Now what we're gonna do is start in the center of this bench and grab this vinyl and pull that tight. Just enough to hold it there because we're gonna come back and really staple it well. We're just gonna keep going down our bench. See how it's taking those wrinkles out of there? Just kind of work your way down to this end and then work your back to that end and then it'll be nice and uniform with not a bunch of wrinkles in it. Again, you're not a professional upholstery shop, so don't worry about it. If it's not perfect, it's gonna be really good and really, and really look good actually for, for what we're doing. And we'll see that once we turn it over. That's the true test. Once you get all this done, turn it over and, and uh, put the acid test to it. We're gonna grab it here and pull it in the corner. And then we're gonna just work it around like so. And most of these folds are gonna be underneath here. So when we look at it from the top down, we're gonna see a nice round corner. Now, go ahead and finish that off. You can do something like this. Pull that tight as you can get it. And we'll go ahead and do the other side like that as well. Had a little too much there. So when we pull this in, if you do, just simply trim it with your scissors. Really, remember, don't trim too much because you're going to be pulling this baby tight. So let's go ahead and do this end like we did that end. Let's flip this over. There we go. That's going to be a nice little addition to our gym, our home gym. A simple build, really and it takes about four to five hours. That's after you get all your materials assembled. You have your cuts, your braces, your painting, your screwing, and finally, your upholstered top. It's gonna cost you about $50. Of course, keep in mind, you could go buy one for 70, around that price range. But the thing is, do-it-yourself folks love to build things. And when they build them, and they look back on it and go, Wow, there's a huge sense of satisfaction of accomplishment of doing that. And when people come over and go, wow, that's some nice stuff there. Where'd you get that? You can confidently say, with much pleasure, I built that. Fuck dude style. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, leave, keep leaving those suggestions. Those are awesome. That gives me motivation to do this stuff. Otherwise, I wouldn't sit around and go, uh, let's build a bench today. No, you guys, Buff dudes and buff girls are the reason why this is happening. And I gotta thank you a lot, because I love doing it. So see you next time.